So this is a video on how to create a specific amount of spacing between multiple objects at the same time and not only equal spacing. To give you a real life use case, I will show you an example where I needed to use this feature myself. So the other day I was designing a shelving system for my garage that I wanted to build. And for this I were designing shelves like this. The brown is the actual shelving and the grey boxes are storage boxes. So I designed my shelves to have 5 cm of spacing between all the boxes. But then later I wanted to test it out with 10 cm of spacing instead of 5. So without this feature I want to show you, I would have to do something like this. First, pull out this wood right here. Then delete the boxes. Put the box all the way to the wood. Go to the X axis and type in plus 0.1 millimeter. Then I would have to do a copy and do this one more time. And then I needed to continue like this until I have all the boxes. And this is certainly one way to do it and it isn't wrong, it just takes a lot more time. So now let me show you a quick way to do this with distribute spacing. So let's assemble the shelf again. So now we are back to the original. So this distribute spacing feature is found in the align panel right here. If it isn't open, you go to window and go to align right here. But as you can tell right now, there is no distribute spacing feature available in this panel. And that is because it is often hidden. So to unlock this hidden feature, click on these two arrows right here. And that closes down the menu. So go down and click it one more time. And here we have the distribute spacing feature. I don't know why distribute spacing is so hidden because the feature is amazing. So unlike distribute objects, which only creates equal spacing between objects, Distribute spacing will create equal spacing between the objects and also a specific amount of spacing between the objects, which gives us a lot more control. So to use this feature, the first thing we need to do is select one row of objects. If you have multiple rows of objects, only select one of the rows, because if you choose all the rows, it will space them out so there's also spacing between this and this one. So only select one row. But as you can tell right now, we can choose how much spacing we want between our objects because the input field is grayed out. And that is because we want to go to this drop down menu right here and select align to key object. And now the input field is unlocked. But before putting in any value right here, we want to select a key object. And the key object is just the object that doesn't move. So if I choose this as key object, it will push this wooden leg to the right and all these objects to the left. And if it doesn't matter which object moves, it doesn't matter which one is the key object either. But in my specific example, I would want this wooden leg to stay where it is and simply have all other objects expand to the right. So now with my key object selected, we can then go down to distribute spacing, type in the spacing we want. I want 0.1 millimeter and then click horizontal distribute space. And obviously if your row is vertical, you choose vertical distribute space instead. So now we have 10 cm of real life spacing between our boxes. Then I can simply select this 2x4 and expand it until it hits the leg. Then delete these boxes and copy this row down to the other shelves as well. And that is a quick way to do a set amount of spacing between your objects. Thank you for watching.